welcome back again I'm trying something different I'm actually live streaming this as an unlisted video so I can have my webcam OBS doesn't like it when I just record stuff straight up so I'm streaming it and it's unlisted so you can't see me um, hopefully until someone I'm just gonna have the chat open just uh, so just to make sure and then I'm just gonna download it but um <coughs> I haven't played test drive unlimited for a while and um, I know that the process was extremely harsh and tough going through getting it to work just 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 getting it to straight up work um, so <coughs> I'm just gonna my webcam is actually in the way that's convenient um, I'm just gonna move my uh, there we are alright so these are the files you're gonna need link is links 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 uh, there's there's four um, four downloads link is in, uh, in the description below go check it out um, there no viruses nothing sketchy don't worry so these are the these are things you're gonna download <coughs> and um, these I've unpacked them into that and then that there's the universal universal launcher as well so you go through you unpack these three not that one <coughs> so I've unpacked it into the serenity pack the uh, universal launcher and the unpacker now <coughs> what I should have done before is I should have probably gotten up my <sighs> game file so we've got our two we've got our root directory here this is what is going to be referred to as the root folder for test drive unlimited it is just the folder as you can see you go into steam apps common and then your test drive unlimited folder so what you want to do now is you're going to move the webcam over there beautiful and um, you want to run the game off steam to make sure that everything is fine if you've messed around with the game you probably want to uninstall it and reinstall it just to be sure so then you've got the complete vanilla game it won't launch if it does launch then just leave it like that obviously um, but if your game won't open at all well if the launch opens and it has troubles it has issues you press play it won't launch if the launcher won't work work at all keep watching so <coughs> the first thing step number one is you're going to get the unpacker so what you're going to do is you're going to drag i think all of this i think you're dragging all of this in yep as you can see i've got all the files there so you're dragging all of this in all right all these files go into the root directory there and then once you've done that you do unpack full bat full dot bat that file and that file only don't click anything else so you click that file <coughs> it goes through and on my PC it took about 20 to 30 minutes it takes a while okay don't worry it, this is all just one step into making your game work so <coughs> you've done that this is uh you'll have a lot more files so the vanilla the completely vanilla game was didn't uh, have this many files but uh, after you unpack it it does have quite a few files so now I'm gonna have to go off memory for this one um, so we got for the unpacked that's right so we've got the TDU2 patch alright and um, can't exactly rem remember what this does. Um, universe, uh, either offline or without checking the game files. Okay, so that means that it probably won't open up the launcher to uh, to get into it. So <coughs> you open this up. This is a um, it's already installed on my PC, so I'm not sure how far I can go. So it's one of these files. So you open it up, uh, and as you can see, it's already installed. But you go through the prompts, you select all the root folders and stuff like that. So I'm just going to cancel out of there. Yes. And um, <coughs> and then that's... Okay, so you've got the patch installed. Um, and that's that's pretty... That's You've done that. Yeah, okay, whatever. I'm making this so tricky for myself. Um, now, <coughs> in the game files, you're going to get the universal launcher. And you're just going to drag it straight in there. Now I had a, um, a shortcut onto my desktop when I played it a lot. I don't play it as much anymore. Um, now, so you open this up, Ken Yazev's tools. It sounds Russian, it's sketchy, it probably is Russian to be honest. So, I think you go to settings. And then, uh, 
what you've got to do now is you've got to select the, uh, the TD2 root folder, which is just as I specified before, this root folder. I'm trying to make this as easy for you as possible, okay? Uh, and don't worry about the text mod. My game works completely 100% fine. Uh, and just keep all those boxes ticked. It works for me. Um, so you save, close. Um, and then, because um, the... Uh, the TD2 servers are officially down for pretty much ever, I think, until the um, the boys in the Discord get it um, get a nice custom server going. Uh, it's gonna be you're gonna be running offline. Um, and the universal patch actually does add a few cars, it, um, but believe me, it, they're they're not they're not horrible. There's like a few Lamborghinis, there's um, a bunch of things, um, and the Serenity pack as well. So, the issue with the Serenity pack is, well, the main focus around it is it adds a whole lot of cars, and it fixes bugs, it fixes a few things, alright? It changes menu music, it does some weird things, okay? Um, now, you can, you can, like, stop it from changing the menu music and all that, but, um, <laughs> so as you can hear, it was, um, fat rat uh, music. Anyway. The issue that I had before installing the Serenity Pack was my game was running about 25 FPS, which was definitely not the frames it should have been running at on my um, on my computer because it's an old game and I've got a good computer. So, um, firstly, I'm just going to get this um, into full screen. Where are we? Game settings and oh no, not that. Um, but as you can see, it's now running at a 60 FPS. So. What you want to do is if you if you are having that issue and you really don't like it and you'd prefer to have cars added, keep in mind it does keep the vanilla cars. Um, oh my God, I'm really bad at this. Um, video here. Yeah. Um, so if you're having the frame issues, there we are. Better. So if you're having the frame issues. Um, then you should probably install it. Um, if you're not, then obviously just leave it. Move that work camera out there. Um, and I think also what the um, the Serenity Pack. I think it's the Serenity Pack or the patch. I'm not. I can't remember. Um, also frees up all the DLC. So as you can see, this is DLC, um, and so you get all the DLC for um, for free, I guess. Um, so I'll, I'll give you a uh, quick run over of some of the various, so here, you know, Kuntash, um, there's some d more DLC there, um, uh, with the Synergy, there's a uh, added car there, um, there's a Supra, there's a Skyline R34, uh, more DLC, M4 Akrapovic, um, there's a few things like... There are some really nice cars that get added. Um, so, Hurricane and Gallardo, um, an LFA, 911 GT3, though that doesn't sound very good. Um, this is probably one of the best ones that gets added. Um, anyway, you get the point. Um, so, as you can see, I'm running at 60 FPS, which is for this game, which is horribly. Um, Unop unoptimized, um, unoptimized, op optimized, whatever you want. There we are. Um, yeah, it's really good. Um, okay, um, I'm just going to get too engaged in the game. Um, so, that's pretty much it. I tried to make it as simple as possible, and uh, it's like a five minute video. Um, but, it's easy steps. Download it. Most important thing is to do the unpacker. The unpacker means you can do everything else. All of these things need an unpacked game. If you ref if you hear if you hear this uh, the root directory or the game files being unpacked, that's what it means. It means that you have ha you had to have run the unpack underscore full dot bat in the game file here. That's what it means. 
and you have to let it go through the whole process. Don't inter interrupt it. Just leave your PCB. Just, I don't know, go off and have lunch or something. <laughs> um, you need an unpacked game. Then you can follow all the other steps. You can't do the patch. You can't do Serenity Pack, all that stuff, without an unpacked game. And you need to get that right. <sighs> so, that's about it. Um, hopefully this works. Um, it certainly worked for me, um, and if it didn't, um, I'm not sure if I can get you a link to the to the uh, unofficial Test Drive Unlimited 2 Discord that I'm in, but um, very friendly people, um, everybody knows what they're talking about, um, and it's it's a good place. All right, so um, anyway, I never um. I can never end videos. Anyway, uh, hit that like button, you know, hit that subscribe button. Have a good one.